Hello, my friends. Something a bit different for the walk this time. Last year, I went on a podcast called The Lawmen, hosted by James Shakeshaft and Alistair Beckett King. And they got me to talk about this weird alien sighting from back in 1973 called the Sandown Clown, where two kids were on holiday and they heard a strange ambulance wailing sound and cut through the hedge to this river and they saw this strange seven foot clown type robot thing with a, a round face and triangles for eyes trying to find a book in the river and eventually it went into its strange hut and it got a weird microphone out and started talking to them and they asked it if it was a ghost and it said well not really but I am in an odd sort of way and then it wrote in a notebook hello and I am all colours Sam and it also eats berries through its eye and weird stuff like that. Anyway, last week I got an email from a man called Ryan who makes models of the Sandown Clown. And he sent me a map of where the sighting was and asked if I could do a walk around there. So I have used my walking app, which is um, Outdoor Active, and I found what looks like the location on the map and I've plotted a route for the walk tomorrow. And also, I'm taking with me an electromagnetic radiation tester to see if there's still evidence of some strange radioactive being being there 50 years ago nearly. Anyway, this is a video of the route. Let's have a look at it. I'll start off at the airport and go along here. And this is the first point where it crosses the river, there's a footbridge. So I'll be looking at that bit there and then I'll be cutting through Sandown Golf Course, probably annoy some rich people and traveling up to the second point where it crosses Scotchall's Brook, which is the river I think they were talking about. And I'll be returning along the golf course, if I return at all. Could we be about to see the first alien sighting of the 21st century. We'll find out tomorrow. Good luck everyone, especially me. Nice one. It's about quarter past eight on a cold January morning and I'm here to start the route. I'm going to put my electromagnetic radiation monitor on just in case it picks up anything untoward that I don't notice. Not that I'm not observant. Good luck everyone. No reading so far. It should beep if anything happens. It's not the nicest start to a walk which makes you think that if aliens did land here it would give them a pretty bad first impression. This, my friends, is Sandown Airport, which is adjacent to where they said in the description they encountered the alien. What the hell? Could this be the craft that the alien robot ghost came down in? If I'm not mistaken, my friends, this down here is Scotchall's Brook, which is the stream I think they crossed and they saw the alien in. Now, my friends, this is the first footbridge. As you can see, it's collapsed, so I don't think this is the alien encounter point because they would have said it's right next to the airport. So I'm gonna continue going along this way. The radiation monitor has no signs of any radioactivity. In the story, Sam the Clown did beckon the children to follow him into his weird sort of metal cabin, which does look a lot like the aircraft hangars from the drawing. 
I'm approaching a point where I'm going to take a route off to the left first to investigate a possible area where they might have gone. This looks like a place you'd see an alien. Another fact I neglected to inform you is that the alien had three toes and three fingers. So we'll be keeping an eye out for any um, three-toed footprints. Right, I have to go up here according to my map and then turn back on myself. There are more footbridges hidden across here. There's no bridge here that I thought there was going to be. So I'm just going to turn back. If you're thinking of doing that extra bit on the map, don't. Back on track now and finishing Swarm Perrier 1 going in towards Sandown Golf Course. One more wooden footbridge to check for radiation zero. I'm not really a big believer in the paranormal and ghost cult dudes, but in the report, when interviewed, the kids said there were two workmen nearby who didn't even notice that there was a huge seven foot clown like alien and they were busy repairing their pole. So maybe I couldn't even see it anyway. This brings me to another story, which I told in a Night in Gorge video, but I didn't know about the Sandown clown then. And the story is, is that my um, brother's fiance was driving their daughter, who was about four or five at the time, this is about seven or eight years ago, near Night and Gorges, when she suddenly started laughing. And my brother's fiance asked, oh, what is she laughing about? And she said, there's a man in the field with a funny pointy hat. And that could have been Sam, the Sandown Clown. We're heading towards the most likely point, I think, where they said they had the encounter. So investigate that, and later on the way back, I'll tell you the two strangest things that happened to me. I passed a lady back there who asked me if I was taking photos of anything nice. I didn't say that I was looking for a massive seven foot clown alien robot probably a good idea. If you want to read more comprehensive reports about this sighting, I've put the links I found below in the description, so please have a look at those. Ah, oh, this looks like it. This is the second of the two possible sites, I think, where they might have encountered the clown. I can't see any evidence of it 49 years later. What a surprise. So let's return back along the golf course and I'll tell you my two spooky stories. I'm quite sad I didn't spot an alien because an alien spaceship's worth 10 points in the spotter's handbook. The greatest accompaniment to any walk. It's now time for the first of my strange stories. The fact you need to know before this story starts is that I was born at exactly 5.15 in the morning in June, quite a long time ago. Anyway, on my 25th birthday, I was asleep in bed and I felt something against my hand. I woke up and on the floor, there was a cat literally pouring at my hand and the cat jumped out the window, which was slightly ajar and it must've got in through. And I looked at the clock and it was exactly quarter past five in the morning. So 25 years to the minute that I was born, I was woken up by a cat that, you know, just got in, I'd never seen before in my life. 
pretty strange, I think. I'd be very interested to know what strange things has happened to you, cool dude. Please write your stories below. Let's go on to the second story. It is quite stressful checking everywhere for golfers on this walk. Um, well, one night, about 15 years ago, after a terrible stand-up gig I'd done, I was getting on the tube, thinking, what's the point? What is the point of this If there is a point, give me a sign. I never normally think of stuff like that. And I got on the tube, and it was empty apart from two people. And they were both reading the books that I was reading, the two books that I was reading. I can't remember what they were, but one was quite a new sort of uh, common one. And then uh, the other one was quite obscure. I think maybe a Kurt Vonnegut book or something. And I thought, this is really strange that I got on the tube and two people were reading the exact same books as I was reading and there was no one else on there. Hmm, very peculiar coincidence. Well, we're nearly at the end of the walk. Here we go. That is the closest I have got to an alien. Uh, headless chicken. Well, my friends, that is it. 3.8 miles, just over two hours. Alien sightings, zero. In fact, you're probably more likely to get hit by a golf ball when seeing an alien. But who knows, if you'd like to try that walk, there's a link to the route on Outdraktive below, and maybe you'll have better luck than me. Or maybe I'll find an alien in the footage. Who knows? Thank you for watching. If you'd like to join the club, you can go to the website and join. Also, you can join on YouTube. There are different benefits to both of them. Thank you very much to everyone who has joined, and it helps me pay for the walks. There's a prize draw coming up now to win this incredible stuff. All the members from the website and the ones from YouTube are entered automatically. Right, my friends. There's one more thing to say. We all know what it is. Stay cool. Nice one, I am back. And before we get to the prize draw, I'm going to do some slight rules clarification on spotting in the incredible spotter's handbook. In that video you've just seen, I did see an alien spacecraft, although technically it probably wasn't an alien spacecraft. I'm going to adjust the rules. that If you see a likeness of something, you can get half of the points. So I'm awarding myself five points for example in the book there's a great dane and it's worth two points if you don't see a great dane but you see a statue of a great dane or a painting of a great dane you are allowed half the points so if you see a likeness of something you get half the points of what the real thing would be so a painting of a fox would be half the points of a fox uh, a sculpture of a fireman would be half the points of a fireman a community support officer would be half the points of a policeman. And people have also asked about roadkill. If you see a squashed rabbit, yes, you can have half the points of a rabbit. But if you see a real rabbit later on, it overrides it. OK, pretty complicated. Also, I'd love to know what scores you're getting on your walk. So please write them in the comments below. And you can tag cool dude spotters on your Instagram photos so I can see what amazing things you spotted. I like looking through them. The next thing is t-shirts. The Cool Dudes Walking Club t-shirts are now quite low in stock. And if you do order some, please remember to write in the order notes what size you'd like. Some people asked about getting a different coloured sort of non-white t-shirt. So I thought of doing green ones with a white Stay Cool logo. Please let me know if you're interested in these. Also, for the YouTube members, the new emoji is of course alien pretty nice one right okay finally it's time for the prize draw 
There are currently 721 members on the website and 122 members on YouTube, making a total of 843. Random number generator. Generate me a number. Generate. 820? 820. And that means it's a 99th person who's joined on YouTube. And that is Ian. Congratulations, Ian. I'll send that stuff through to you. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks ever so much if you've joined the club. It is great. All right, more walks coming soon. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Stay cool.